Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, today I'm going to go over the review about this uh, Mercury Innovations mobile uh, dock. This one is uh, made of uh, aluminum uh, material. As you can see, it uh, looks exactly like the Apple iMac uh, stand. All the cutout and everything. Unfortunately, uh, this one does not have a uh, tilt. They should should have uh, make the hinges over here, so you can loosen up or tighten up, so you can adjust the tilting uh, angle. Okay, so that's the only uh, bad part about this uh, stand. Besides that, I have uh, viewers want to know if this uh, fit the new and latest uh, Apple Pro. 12.9 inch so we're gonna go ahead and uh, talk about that as well so this is the hole for your uh, charging cable to go through you know you have a thick one like the old school for the old Apple uh, iPhone 3G 2G 1G 3GS okay this will be the one that use a thick, wider uh, charging cable. And also on the Apple uh, iPad, the first uh, generation one. So this one has a nice uh, rubber material padding right here on the, toward the back of your uh, device and also on the bottom of the stand you have uh, those uh, rubber padding so you won't, will not scratch your uh, your tablet your ipad your ipad mini ipad pro and it's go all the way up to the front as well And there's also a uh, four other rubber feet on the bottom, prevent from uh, slipping or uh, scratching your desk or table. So as you can see, I'm gonna test out for all this uh, Android, Google phones, LG, uh, Samsung. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and then uh, try on this uh, Apple 3G, uh, 3GS. So if you sit on this, it's kind of like tilting forward because it is, it is on the case. So as you can see, it is <coughs> tilting like forward. So it will not go back because of the, the case. So you want to go ahead and then uh, remove your uh, casing for your device and that's uh, test out putting it down right now so as you can see it sits nice and uh, fit pretty nicely okay and this uh, rubber fee uh, the padding prevent from uh, scratching your back right here okay <clears throat> so you could put it uh, this way the portrait mode portrait way or the landscape and if you have a thinner device like this one this is the Apple uh, iPhone 6s Let's uh, test this out. So as you can see, that's how it fit. And you still have a couple of room right here. The thickness, uh, you will fit the Apple uh, Pro since it's so wide gapping right here. And then this is what it looked like.
And this is with the silicone case on it. So let's uh, test out this uh, iPad uh, mini. Go ahead and uh, set this on like that. Move this out of the way. So you still got room on the bottom, okay? Maybe uh, only a little tilting angle. I'm not sure if that is the purpose for that or not. So, but I'd rather have them uh, make like a bar right here, hinges, bar hinges, and there will be like a two knobs or screw knob for you to tie this up. And so you will adjust this uh, up and down, tilt it up and down, okay? So let's go ahead and then uh, test out this uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S3, okay? So you got a lot of room for you to tilt in the angle if it's necessary. So this is what it looked like if you have like a charging cable, you could go through there. But with the lightning uh, adapter, you don't need to go through there. You could actually go through on the bottom of the hole because it's, uh, it is uh, small enough. Unless you have a old, older uh, iPhone, you get a wider uh, charging uh, adapter that will go through the top. So let's go ahead and uh, test out this uh, Samsung uh, J3. So again, you have a, a lot of room for a little bit of the tilting angles. And then let's go through this one. This is like a LG uh, Fitness uh, Plus, Fitness Pro. They have a couple of different names with the different carrier. Then this is what it look like. And this model is for uh, AT&T. Again, you have a little of the space for a little bit, little bit of a tilting. If your uh, device is thin enough, uh, which is allow you to tilt. And this one is the J7. Again, this is a pretty thin phone and that's a room for you to tell. But it seems like it's not holding because it's kind of bigger phone, it's like tilting backward.
All right. And then uh, let's go ahead and uh, check on this. Uh, this is the Samsung Note 3. As you see, it has a stylus. And this one has a thick case on there, so I don't think it's going to hold in there. If you have a thick case and then if you have a rubberized material, you can just put it on top and it's not going to slip off. Okay, and then you can also put it in this way. But if you're afraid it might slip off, it is better for you to remove the case. Somehow the back become uh, sticky due to the old age of the phone. Wow, you got so much uh, space now on the bottom of the this gap. And then uh, this is my uh, Samsung Note 4. Again, you have the stylus. This one is the white color. And I have a thick case again to protect it. Then you could just uh, set this on top. It's not gonna slip off because this is uh, made of a uh, rubberized uh, outer uh, casing. Okay, this is a rubberized material, so it's going to be non-slip. So again, if it's oversized uh, to protruding tool out here, you probably prefer one to take out your case because you don't want to drop to the ground and then uh, crack your precious uh, phone. No 4 is still in uh, pretty good condition. So yeah, this uh, will give you a better look on the backing. If you have a black phone, a silver phone, white phone this is what it's going to look like with the different of the colorways so unfortunately this one was going to cover your screen right here with this uh, two holder on the bottom so if you are watching a video it might uh, distract you or something you might uh, just uh, leave it uh, in the case so it kind of raise up a little bit and then uh, let's go ahead and try on this uh, LG uh, V10. This one is a pretty old phone as well. Still looking uh, pretty nice, almost like a brand new. I like to take care of my phone and stuff like that, but. Uh, so again, you see this, uh, this two is covering the screen. So if, it, if I want, I could just uh, leave it in my case and it will raise up higher. Okay. Then uh, finally, let's go ahead and go through those. Uh, this one, this is the Samsung tab. Uh, I mean, this is the Note 8 with the cellular 4G LTE. So this one is kind of oversized, it's going to slip off. So if I want, I could just uh, take out of the, this uh, K 
case and let's try it. This one is kind of hard to take it out, so. <clears throat> All right, finally, there's a gap, gap right here, so you pry this uh, open or around it slowly. So, and then you want to, you don't want to drop your uh, device. Okay, finally, look at. Spanking new, still have a uh, backing of this uh, plastic protector on there. So this is what it look like. Okay. And then uh, this is the landscape mode. All right, finally, uh, I'm going to answer the question for those uh, viewers out there. See if it's going to fit the 12.9 inch uh, iPad Pro. So the 12.9 inch uh, iPad Pro is about 633 grams. And then this one is uh, iPad one. It is uh, more than 700 grams. So it is uh, pretty heavy. And we're gonna measure this uh, bore. This bore is about 14 inches, okay, in diagonal. So yeah, it's about 14 inches. And then if you have a 12.9, it's almost about 13 inch. So I'm going to put this uh, on the stand to test it out. And then put this uh, iPad. Going to make sure I center it. So for the weight uh, distribution. So to answer that question, yes, uh, you would uh, fit your uh, iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to test this one out right here. I'm going to do the portrait first. So it is uh, pretty nice because uh, silver on silver, that's uh, what the IMAX uh, originally um, looked like. Matching up uh, pretty nicely, silver on silver. Let's go and then uh, tilt this one in the landscape. Those are scratches uh, because I have a plastic protector on. All right, let's uh, get this out of the way. Measure this gap real quick for you guys to check it out. I would say about little bit more than a uh, half uh, of an uh, inch more. If you have a uh, half inch uh, thicker on your device, it would uh, still fit. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this uh, video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any comments on below. If you guys have any of a uh, special request, uh, and on any of my video, please uh, drop your comments on video. All right. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always. Peace. No. No.